In 2020, it sent um, another lander uh, to the moon, but it was from the near side. It's scientifically valuable to have um, sample return from the far side. It will allow for the first time to gauge how old the moon may be, to explore if water ice exists, to then turn into fuel to power other space missions. That will be a, a boon for space exploration. In effect, we are in a race. And so I think it's incumbent on us to get there first and to utilize our research efforts for peaceful purposes. A lot of space technology is dual use in nature, which means that it can have both a civilian and a military use. Then there's also that question of China claiming exclusivity in, in, in certain region, use of resources on the moon and the like. Because there's a lot of unknowns, so certainly some US policymakers and other observers would be concerned about what China does with its space program. <laughs> 